original plan for the day was to do a review, you know, demonstration of operations, safe operating procedures, safety required, everything of the uh, FS90 here, but it's uh, about 40 degrees outside and raining, so fuck that. Uh, instead, I'm going to do some maintenance. So we got, got a spark plug, fuel filter, purge bulb, air filter, gearbox grease, and valve clearance kit. Let's go ahead and get this guy tuned up and ready for springtime. Before we get started, I want to hit on a topic that's big in the nerd community, and that's the acronym RTFM. Read the fucking manual. All right, it applies equally as well in the outdoor power equipment industry. You read your manual, you're gonna learn about some functionality maybe you didn't even know your machine had, but the big thing is you're gonna save time and you're going to save money and you're gonna save me a bunch of headache by not coming into my shop and bitching about some piece of equipment you broke because you didn't know what the hell you were doing. Thanks. All right, we're gonna start with the easy stuff. Greasing up your beer box. Um, if you're a homeowner or, you know, large property, you know, Basically, if you don't use this thing commercially every single day, you want to check it once a year or so, add grease as necessary. Uh, if you run commercial and you're using your machines every single day, you want to check it much more often. But you're going to start taking out this torch head. You can kind of see in there. For greasing, got my steel grease. And so I've got my grease ready to go. You're actually going to thread this in and squeeze out some of the grease into the gearbox. You don't really want to, you know, jam it full. Just give it a decent amount. Pull it back. Looks like we're good. Plug it back up. Alright, there are gears in there that do require grease. For everything else now, it's going to be a lot easier if we move a uh, recoil assembly shroud, air filter cover. So let's just go ahead and do that. It's pretty simple. You need scrunch, came with your machine, or should have. Recoil assembly. All right, so let's go ahead and do the valve clearance. See this kit? I think it's like five bucks. And it's uh, part number 4180007-1005. That's gonna be for all four mix trimmers and uh, it's a different part number for four mix blowers. But you can see it's got the gasket, uh, the ring for the bolt, and the feeler gauge. So let's take the spark plug out. Take valve cover off. That ceiling ring. All right, so here we want to be top dead center. All right, got tension on one of the valves, so I'm not there yet. You can go ahead and turn the recoil. It took the spark plug out so that it turned easier. Not there yet. Looks like we're there right now. And uh, you know, if you want to take this cover off, there'll be a little arrow you can align with a bolt in there. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of that. All right, so I've got my kit out here. These bolts are eight millimeter, nuts rather. Got my feeler gauge, and when you slide your feeler gauge in, you want to feel slight resistance, but you don't want it snagging up and locking up. It's right in there, so I could actually that guy feels pretty pretty good. Maybe a little loose there. So let's go ahead, 
And this guy has slide adjustment. A little too tight. You can see even real tiny adjustments make a pretty big difference. Alright, so got the new gasket. Go ahead and make sure the surface is clean. Off cover. And a little copper ring there. Alright, got the spark plug here. They come pre gapped, but Verify, gap on these guys, 0.5 millimeter. Yep, right there. Alright, we'll go ahead and pop in a new primer bulb. And these four bolts right here, four screws rather right here. As you can see, not too difficult. Just held in with this plate along the edge. Got the new primer bulb here. And drop it back in. Alright, got our air filter. Pull it out. Pretty simple. Alright, the easiest way to do the fuel filter, you can use a uh, coat hanger if that's what you have handy. I have a piece of uh, TIG wire here. You're just going to use it as a hook. Reach it in there, grab it, pull it out. So I got my new fuel filter here. And honestly, this looks pretty dang good. I probably just changed it a few months ago. But I uh, didn't do it on YouTube. Let's go ahead and take this guy off. Be careful not to uh, break your line, or else you're going to be replacing that as well. And if you have an older machine and the gas line is pretty old, it may need to be replaced anyway. So just be prepared. If you're replacing a fuel filter, there's a possibility you may need to place the fuel line as well. All right, so that's pretty much it. Go ahead and button it all back up. Give it a test run. Uh, if you can't figure out how to button it back up, you shouldn't be working on your own equipment anyway. All right, got it all done, buttoned up. We give it a test run, but before I do that, I will say, you know, it's a bit cold, so I'm just going to take a minute to warm up. So, not going to start. Got a fresh purge bulb, so I'm going to give it some good primes. Choke on. S90. She's a beast. Alright, made this complete. Hopefully you're at the same point I am and done and running well. If not, you probably fucked something up and so you should go back and check it all out again. That or you left uh, ethanol fuel in your machine over the winter time and you go your carburetor up and it's not getting any gas. Either way, whatever. Have a good one humans. Motherfucker.